Yo, what's up, boys? And we're back again. Domus Colonel's call on camera. And here we go. And sometimes you might need your colleague's assistance. The rule of thumb, though, is not to do it when the property owner is watching. <coughs> Otherwise, the situation might get really awkward. Might get way too awkward. You're like... And the situation might get really awkward. Is that... And here's what I call dedication. This man is ready to do whatever oh it takes God. only to break this door open. Yeah. But when the door's corner is finally starting to bend, the man sees the magnet lock button. Well, better late than never. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows the children's game where you need to put objects of different shapes <laughs> into matching holes. Well, being a robber is sometimes just like playing this game. While the guy was trying to pull this thing through, <laughs> the cops had arrived and the puzzle remained unsolved. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> and this badass managed to drop the money when he was walking out of the bank oh, he just robbed. Imagine. The wind scattered the notes all over the street. But the good people outside picked them up and gave them back to the robber. Unlike most of the criminals in this episode, this fella got away with the robbery and fled in an unknown direction. <laughs> yeah, these days the Catholic Church is not as great as it was back in the Middle Ages. But when did it get so bad that nuns have to go out shoplifting? What about thou shalt not steal? Isn't it a deadly sin after all? Especially when you get caught on camera. I mean, like, it's obvious part at least. And here's the drunken master of shoplifting. The man is pretending to be drunk to steal a bunch of stuff from a store, including this newspaper that keeps falling out. Well, it looks like despite all his efforts, he gets caught red-handed anyway. <laughs> No, okay. This guy could have clearly found a better getaway driver. Now he has to carry this heavy thing all the way waiting for him in the car. What's even worse, when the robber loads the loot on the back seat, the driver pushes the pedal to the floor, leaving his partner behind. Well, this is how stealing from a thief looks like. Oh my God. Before breaking into someone's property, take your time to think. I'm not talking about the moral aspect. At least try to find out if the building has an entrance, or you might end up like this guy trying to break into a garage through the window while its door is wide open. The realization strikes the burglar so hard that he doesn't even want to steal anything and just leaves. Well, good for him. He's like, I'm out of here. Nah. What's good about this clip is the conversation between the thief and the owner of the pair of shoes he's trying to steal. When the guy realizes he's being watched, he doesn't run away but tries to talk his way out of this situation. In the end, when he hears about the girl's Rottweiler, he just waves his hand at the camera and walks away. Oh my god. Seriously? An old TV set is a heavy and fragile thing, and this is clearly not the right way to steal it. And did you know it can blow up when it falls? So the guy in this clip is actually pretty lucky. Oh. A candy dispenser is definitely one of the weirdest things a person could steal. Does this guy really need it that bad? How did he steal it? Is he gonna like put a coin in it every time he wants a candy? So many questions and no answers. Any questions, actually. This suspect doesn't like the idea of wasting his time behind bars. <laughs> oh wait, that's a girl. I wonder how far she could run, and how much time it took for the officers to spot that something was missing. Seriously? Jeez. Being a criminal oh takes time God. too, no matter if you're a bank robber or a bag snatcher. <laughs> but when a bunch of Burger King cashiers can ruin all your insidious plans, you know it's time for a career change. <laughs> Seriously, it is like a Burger King. And that's exactly how I imagined an art gallery robbery, peaceful and quiet. The picture is too big to hide under the jacket, and that's fine. Just pretend it's yours. Take your time, and of course, don't worry about the cameras. <laughs> Maybe this guy is not a criminal at all, but he does look epic. Just look at him, bare-chested, <laughs> armed with an axe and a newspaper. He's clearly looking for some trouble in the sparking garage in the middle of the night. We just hope he didn't hurt anyone too bad. Too bad. Many amateur thieves are convinced that if you hide something under your clothes, it becomes invisible to cameras and other people. Even if we're talking about a chainsaw. I just hope the guy got arrested before he cut himself with this huge, unprotected blade he'd hidden <laughs> in his pants. <laughs> Dumbass. 
Oh, another sherm of this. No. <laughs> no, that's it's hot. <laughs> nah, you need to be the dumbest. You don't really have to shoot your gun to make the clerk open the cash machine. Sometimes it's enough just to pull it out. But if you drop your gun over the counter, you don't get a second chance to make the right impression. And also, wear a belt. <laughs> this burglar breaks in through the roof and gets into a tricky and stressful situation. All the three doors in the corridor are closed. The poor criminal spent more than an hour running in circles around the room, desperately trying to find a way out. In the end, the police arrived and rescued him. Ah, the sweet smell of freedom. And here's another bad mask idea, a plastic bath. Not only don't you see anything from the inside, your face is also perfectly visible from the outside. An example of absolute stupidity. The first brick didn't break the window, while the second one nearly broke one of the burglar's skulls. I wonder what their conversation was like when that guy came round. And yeah, a friend in need is friend indeed. <laughs> A bulletproof shield is one of the means of protection against armed robbers used in banks. But who knew it could nearly scare robbers to death and make them flee? This guy was so scared that he even forgot how to open the door. I bet this old lady never knew he would help a robber get away from the crime scene. This guy snatched the woman's purse, but he clearly hadn't thought about a getaway route in advance and found himself standing in front of a police station. If only all the crimes were solved like that. Oh my god. You have to be so dumb to do that. Technology is useless because professionals choose toilet paper. This guy came up with several unexpected applications of this priceless item. First, he uses it to deactivate a security cam. And then he makes a cool mask out of it, which, as you can see, guarantees his anonymity. Yeah, his solutions might not be perfect, but at least he's trying to be creative. <laughs> the owner of this bike had not expected to have it stolen right in front of the police station. It's just unbelievable. The dude in a mask started to cut the lock with a grinder. He kept making noise for 23 seconds until the weird sounds were heard by the police. And I think this is how fast they should always work. This is not my controller. Yeah. Seriously? Damn, that's down. So this couple tried to pay for their drink with a stolen credit card. From that moment on, the situation started escalating quickly. The shop clerk smelled something fishy and called the police. At the side of the cops, the couple started acting weird. The guy decided to run away, using the girl as a human shield. Then the girl tried to escape through the storage room, but it was dead end. The girl decided to climb her way out through the vents, but the ceiling couldn't hold the girl's weight. So in the end, she crashed onto the shelves and dried into the hands of the police. Oh my god. Alright boys, I hope you liked the video and you like and subscribe, grog grog, see ya, another video.